friend. What him doing? <laughs> Good morning. So I just left Panera Bread. It is 10 20, I believe, in the morning. My boyfriend's going to work and I get to play little housewife today, which means I have to run to Aldi and Target. I was gonna go to Walmart, but it's my day off. I don't want to go to Walmart and the Walmart by our house has construction going on and kind of permanently smells like cat pee so I just don't want to do that to myself or my mental health so I'm going to Aldi and Target because I also want to go buy some little trinkets and that's the number one place you go when it's little trinket time I currently have $50 in my bank account none of which should be spent on little trinkets from Target. Hello gang, we made it to Target. We did that together. Not really, I drove by myself, but you were with me in spirit, it's okay. So I made it to Target, I'm in the Target parking lot and I'm gonna put my headphones in and I'm going to go inside and I'm not going to buy a little trinket, even if I really want to. Obviously I got trinkets, of course I got trinkets. Who wouldn't get trinkets? I got trinkets so hard, I actually ended up going to Hobby Lobby to see if they had more trinkets that I would like. Did I spend more money than I was supposed? Yes, I did. I did. Is that a crime? N no. But I shouldn't have spent the money, but I got the trinkets. So I think that I'm fine. <laughs> um, I I'm actually excited to go home and do like a little haul. Most of the stuff I got was for, okay, so it's not even for me. Like I got the trinket buying experience, but the trinkets like weren't even entirely for me because my boyfriend loves Christmas. So I don't think that what I did was criminal. I don't think I should be penalized for it. I think that I'm fine. I think I'm doing something, it's good for the economy. Anyways, that being said, um, I am on the way home now, so I do not spend any more money. And I'm gonna clean and cry a little bit because our dryer broke last night, so I actually can't do all of the cleaning I would like to do. Who are you in? You wanna be in the video? You wanna be in the video So for my dogs, because that's kind of my whole reason for existence, I already gave them some of these. Z got sprayed in the mouth by a skunk, so we've been eating greenies for a while, but mama did not have any money, but mama got money and she got these because they looked, they're healthier. I've been greenwashed. Two little dog treats. Come here. Come here. Okay, you be nice. You be done all. Good girls. I really want to do an aesthetic Christmas and I've been really obsessed with like brown pink and green as kind of like the colors that we've been going for so I got this cardboard colored wrapping paper and then these like they're a slightly darker shade of brown which matters to me I try not to be like the aesthetic consumerist Christmas mom but it's also really hard not to this year the theme for Christmas because Ace got to pick the theme last year so this year I was like oh my god I could pick the theme, I wanted to be Margaritaville themed, and then Jimmy Buffett died this year, and I've kind of been really not doing too great about that, so I don't think that doing a Margaritaville Christmas will be a good idea, because I will be crying the whole time. Anyways, so <laughs> I got wrapping paper, I got cards, because I thought they were really cute. I got these, that's another reason why I needed them to leave, because they're so cute to put them in their stockings. I love having dogs because I can spoil them as if they're toddlers for the rest of their lives. And, um, I went on that subreddit, I went on the, like, uh, I went on the subreddit of people, like, the dog-free subreddit, because, I don't know, I was not in the right headspace, and I, I, I just, it makes me sad to be, into, to be emotional and vulnerable. It really makes me sad when people talk poorly on dogs, and I understand if you were attacked by a dog, and that's why you don't like dogs, but I don't know, it just makes me feel sad it makes me feel sad for you and some people are like it's like having toddlers forever yeah yeah it is like having toddlers forever i can still dress them in little fun pajamas i can they're never gonna have a rebellion phase where they're like i hate you actually i have healers so they had that phase ham had that phase when she was like eight months so that was great but 
they're always the one of the reasons why I don't want to have kids is because I don't want them to grow up and like do their own thing and then leave me in the dust. That's unhealthy. That's why I'm not having kids. That's why I have dogs. It's not unhealthy. I've just recognized my own patterns. Anyways, so that's why I have dogs. If you don't have dogs, it's totally fine. If you hate dogs, I don't know if my account is the right place for you because I am going to be talking about them all the time. Everything I do in my life is catered to them. So, I don't remember the fuck I was talking about. Anyway, so I got these cute little candy canes for them and that's one of the reasons why I needed them to leave because I don't want them to see it. They're not gonna remember. Shh. I don't want them to see it. They're gonna go in their stockings and it's gonna be so cute and they're gonna love it. I know they are, it's gonna be amazing. One of the reasons why I left the house today was actually to get coconut oil because it is winter and they have dry skin and ZD's been chewing on her skin and really itchy. So I'm hoping that this will help. And so I also got peanut butter. I got peanut butter and coconut oil to make them some little lick mats so that they can lick their mats. It'll be great, I'm excited, I'm excited. I got this um, red ribbon. Look, I was get, I should never have been given a credit card because now it is the only thing I want to spend my money on. Anyways, I got this little gingerbread cup. I like having a little seasonal cup. Um, <laughs> I had two, believe it or not. I had a pumpkin one and a mummy one. And when my boyfriend was doing the dishes, the mummy one broke, which I'm totally normal about and not upset even a little bit. So I figured for Christmas, it's gonna be the little gingerbread book and it's gonna be so cute and I'm so excited. Um, and then on to the more like Christmassy things. Cause these are all kind of like somewhat normal, somewhat. I got this because of course I needed to have it. Right now you can't see it. I have a like a, a something, my mom and I have had this for years. It's like our Halloween, my mom's been to Halloween. So we have a lot of Halloween decor that's like generationally passed down. I don't have a Christmas decor because my mom doesn't care about Christmas, so I have to buy it myself. But look, it's like a little magnet. It's like a, it's like a little magnet. I can put that, put it on what day it is. It's so cute. Shut up. I'm obsessed with it. It's like my favorite thing right now. I got this little tray. It's a tree farm cut your own. It was this or like a round one that said skating rink, but I didn't like the skating rink one because if you turn it, it won't look, it just looks like you have like a round bin on your counter. I was like, no, I need people to know that it's seasonal. Um, and then I got two little plates. I got a gingerbread plate and a Feliz Navidad plate because I thought that they were cute. And also it's because I've had this one out for Halloween and I needed to replace it. And then my last thing, no, not my last thing. <laughs> I got this. Um, I'll show the little area I have that I've had set up for fall and Thanksgiving and Halloween for a little bit, and it'll make sense why I got this. It's so cute, and I'm obsessed with it. It's originally seven dollars. I know that this is supposed to be like for when you have a dining table and it's like your placement holder. Seven dollars. I mean, it's Hobby Lobby, so it was fifty percent off. So it was three fifty. But still, it's ridiculous. And then I also, if you, another thing about me, I'm obsessed with the We're Not Really Strangers thing. So I also got, they have a new game out and it's the self-love one. And I really want to do it with my boyfriend. I love tabletop games. It's another thing about me. I'm really boring. I crochet, I knit, I'm obsessed with tabletop games and decorating my house. Yay. And then the last thing I got, I'll come closer so you can see it. Cause he just looks so stupid. Look at him. I don't know, is he in camera? Look at his little face. <laughs> I love him. Anyways, I have made the executive decision. I have decided. I think I am going to decorate for Christmas so my boyfriend can come home and the house will be Christmassy. I think that's the plan. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. It'll be so cute. It'll be so cute. One problem that has been unforeseen is that if I w if I had it my way, I would completely. Do you guys like your tree? Look at them! I love them so much. If I had it my way, I would have like he would come home and there would be like I'll post pictures of what my Pinterest board looks like. I would have like the full like 
red big fluffy comforter with the matching sheets and everything on the bed but i don't have enough money to do that i could always go to tj maxx and see though because tj maxx always is like here's a massive comforter that will last your in your family for like the next 12 generations and it's only 80 dollars maybe that's expensive i don't know i entered the world of adulthood when everything was already expensive so I don't, know, I don't know what a comforter is supposed to cost. That's not something I can get mad about. Um, I just spent an hour on TikTok in my kitchen. Okay, going back to your regular scheduled programming. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, <laughs> I think it's about 11 in the morning. I We just finished a vet appointment with the girls and I think that's about it. I really didn't do anything yesterday, I, even though I was supposed to. I am the type of person where even though I can sweep and mop and vacuum and put all the dishes away and completely redecorate, I still feel like I haven't done anything. Um, and I'm probably gonna feel that way today too. Whoops. But it's a new day. Um, I am actually going to do a little bit of crocheting today. Super excited to show you guys that. It's really nothing crazy. I have to finish this blanket that I'm making and I really think that's all I'm doing. <laughs> but. We did a vet appointment with the girls. They hated it, of course. I have two healers um, and they don't really like doing anything that is not in our regular routine. So yeah, I'm gonna head on back home and hopefully not get stuck in the TikTok loop again. <laughs> Fingers crossed. 